It all began with an innocent comment on a warm spring day as Lauren and Steve sipped coffee on the sun-drenched patio of their favorite Starbucks. You know, Lauren, he said, I don't think there is anything I wouldn't do to make you happy. She thought for a moment, then a smile crept across her face and she said, well, I would love for you to be my baby. Thinking that Lauren used the term baby to mean sweetheart or boyfriend, he quickly replied, I thought I already am. I'm not sure you understand what I mean, said Lauren. I mean my infant or toddler baby, wearing diapers and eating baby food, sleeping in a crib and being fed in a high chair, and, of course, obeying your mommy me. Steve hesitated. Well, he began, but she cut him off. Do you want our friends to hear about what happened a few weeks ago on our way home from the Dawson S? Steve blushed, he had had a couple of beers while watching a football game at the Dawson's and thought he could make it home before going to the bathroom, but traffic was snarled and before they got home he had wet his pants. You know that was just an accident, he said sheepishly. Yes it was, she acknowledged, the kind of accident little babies have. It proves that you belong in diapers. If you don't agree I will just have to tell our friends and ask what they think. Reluctantly, Steve said, okay, Lauren, I guess it won't hurt to give it a try. Good. Lauren exclaimed, now finish your coffee, we have some shopping to do at Babies R Us, and, by the way, I think it would be better if you start getting used to calling me mommy instead of my name. Steve swallowed the last of his latte and said, okay, Ella, mommy. And Lauren beamed with delight as they got on the car and headed over to Babies R Us. As they walked into the baby superstore, Lauren marveled at the array of baby items available. As far as the eye could see in every direction the store was stocked with a huge variety of baby clothing, cribs, car seats, playthings, bottles and breast pumps, high chairs and playpens, an endless selection of disposable diapers and shelves full of cloth diapers and plastics baby pants. Lauren knew exactly where she wanted to start. She took Steve by the hand and walked up to the first person she saw, a store associate at the customer service desk near the entrance. Where can I find diapers for a big baby, she asked. The young women said, well there are disposables at the back of the store, but for a bigger baby you might do better with cloth diapers and they are just over there, she said pointing to her right. Without hesitation Lauren said, oh he is a big baby alright, aren't you Stevie? The store associate just shook her head and stared after them as Lauren led Stevie over to the shelves of cloth diapers and plastic baby pants. Steve now known as Stevie stood quietly while Lauren studied the array of Gerber cloth diapers. She quickly realized that they would need the larger flat diapers to fit Stevie, but reasoned that the prefold diaper service quality diapers would be more absorbent and require fewer changes. Finding plastic baby pants to fit her big baby might be a problem, she thought, but he was fairly slim and she decided to try the largest pair she could find. Lauren picked out a package of flat bird's eye diapers and a package of the diaper service prefolds as well as a three pack of the largest size baby pants and a package of baby blue diaper pins. Then, with Stevie in tow, she headed back over to the helpful store associate. I need to try these on my baby before I buy them, she said with a glance at Stevie, who stood blushing by her side. The associate looked at Stevie and asked, is he the one who is going to wear the diapers? Lauren laughed and said, well, I'm not going to. The associate smothered a chuckle and said, of course. There is a changing room at the back of the store, but he is too heavy for the changing table, please take a changing pad and diaper him on the floor. Lauren took Stevie by the hand and started to the back of the store, stopping to pick out a changing pad. We'll be needing one of these anyway, won't we baby, she said laughing. In the changing room, Lauren spread out the changing pad and opened the packages of diapers and baby pants. After studying the diapers for a few minutes, she lay out two flat diapers, the put two of the prefolds down the middle and put two more flat diapers on top making a stack of diapers big enough to go around Stevie's waist and thick enough to do what diapers are supposed to do. Okay, Stevie, she said, time to put you back in diapers. Stevie fidgeted and started to undo his belt. Oh, no, baby, Lauren said, slapping his hand, mommy does that. Then she undid Stevie's belt and unzipped his fly and pulled his pants and underwear down to his ankles. Just lie down now baby, and mommy will take care of everything. She eased Stevie down onto the changing pad, slid off his shoes, socks, underwear, and pants. Lift up for mommy, she instructed, and slid the diapers under Stevie's bottom. First mommy puts her baby on the diapers, she said as she lowered him onto the soft white stack, then she puts the diapers on the baby, she laughed as she pinned the diapers tightly in place, first over Stevie's left hip, then over the right hip. Next she lifted his ankles and slid a fresh pair of baby pants over his feet and up his legs to his diapers. Standing Stevie up and tugging the baby pants up over his diapers, Lauren noticed that they were a tight fit and didn't quite cover Stevie's diapers in back. Well, she said, I guess that will do for now. Let's see what the lady out front thinks. Lauren packed up the remaining diapers, baby pants and pins, then folded Stevie's pants and underwear together. 
I want to see what the expert thinks of the fit of your diapers and baby pants, she explained to the blushing baby, so there is no sense putting these back on. Now sit down in that chair over there while I put your socks and shoes back on. As mommy and baby left the changing room they both realized that Stevie's t-shirt barely came down to the top of his diapers. As they walked through the store, Lauren beamed happily, but Stevie just blushed. Up at the front of the store, by the checkout area, Lauren found the store associate who had assisted them. What do you think, she asked. The young woman could barely hide her surprise or her smirk. I really though you were just joking, she said, and never dreamed you could get him into baby diapers, but you've done a wonderful job, I think that they will work just fine for you. Then she added with a little giggle, and your baby. Good, exclaimed Lauren. We'll just leave these here for now. We'll need to pick up some more diapers and baby pants, a diaper bag, and a few other baby necessities. Then she took Stevie by the hand.